case of any further clarity or based on the experience if there is a mid-course correction which is required, the policy has a provision for that as well. Iske alawa, jo industry association se jo issue raised hua hai AMG ka. Ye industry, industrial incentive policy se related hai. So industry's department might be able to better respond. But in meeting mein, जहाँ मुझे भी बाग लेने का था तो बस वो इंडस्ट्री पॉलिसीज हैं बट रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एमजी चार्जेस तो उसपे ये इश्यू डिस्कस हुआ है एंड इंडस्ट्रीज डिपार्टमेंट हैज अश्योर्ड कि दे आर वर्किंग ऑन इट तो इसमें जल्दी ही मतलब डिसीजन होगा सो दैट ये जो आप कह रहे हैं कि लॉजिकल so we are hopeful that it will be logically interpreted so that after the issue is sorted out. And as far as implementation is concerned, in terms of the present policy, especially the rooftop, in that the policy is already the target of the current year, 125 megawatt, which is institutional sector, the rooftop is grid connected. डोमेस्टिक सेक्टर है दोनों में सब्सिडी अवेलेबल है कमर्शियल और इंडस्ट्रियल में सब्सिडी अवेलेबल नहीं है ये दोनों सेक्टर्स के लिए करीब 125 मेगावाट के लिए जो प्रोपोर्शनेट सब्सिडी है करीब 250 करोड़ दैट इज ऑलरेडी बीन सैंक्शन बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड इट इज बीन ऑलरेडी रिलीज नोडल एजेंसी सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉलिसी आया तब तक हम लोग मतलब जो फर्स्ट ईयर का टारगेट है उसका फंड भी उपलब्ध हो चुका है we have already applied to the central government for the proportionate uh, central financial assistance, which shortly we are informed that their monitoring committee or the steering committee will approve that proposal. So things are moving forward. Policy atip hi sati matlab rooftop we are progressing. But as uh, uh, Mishra has pointed out, the rooftop ke liye matlab uh, economically like that is a more beneficial solution to be had. At present we are taking it at one third. Uh, in fact, to be, uh, you know, fair, uh, this kind of distributed generation is very new to Indian power sector. Tamil Nadu mein kuch hua hai, Chandigarh mein kuch hua hai, Orissa mein kuch hua hai. So this has uh, various technical issues as well. You know, itna distributed tarike se power uh, grid mein inject ho raha hai. So what are the challenges that come with it in terms of operational issues, technical issues, grid stability? Uh, grid balancing, associated forecasting issues in terms of our rest of the power purchase planning. So, many issues hai. So, this is a starting phase. So, koi bhi nahi cheez matlab aata hai. So, usme matlab initial phase mein to understand the issues and to come up with solutions. Industries, uh, you know, government and regulators, we have to work together so that uh, we find you know, solutions for the issues and some countries have done it already, Germany, US may certain pockets may. This has come up in a big way, distributed generation. So we are looking at things and we are hopeful that the distributed generation ka jo first step hai, usme ek net metering ka regulation is one of the critical components which will actually implement hoga. Because in industries ke perspective, pe, government ke upar koi dependency nahi hai. Kyunki government ka koi subsidy industries ko uh, propose nahi hai, na commercial establishments ko hai. So it is purely open because आपको मतलब there is a arbitrage जो discount के power है उससे apparently मतलब solar power सस्ता आपको मिलेगा so we don't see why you should not set up उसमें एक ही critical link है जो dependency है वो net metering का guideline है उसमें regulator has given a broad framework उनके तरफ से नोटिस पे हो गया and उसके further operational guidelines discounts के level पे preparation में है we have had two, three rounds of uh, interaction with various stakeholders and uh, we are quite hopeful in a month or so we should be able to take that guideline to the regulator for their final approval. So, wo aajayga, so phir, as far as industries is concerned or commercial establishment is concerned, rooftop lagane ke liye aapko matlab uh, koi dikkat nahi hai. All you have to do is file application to the discount saying ki humko net meter ki zarurat hai aur hum rooftop itna lagana chahte hai. So, there is one condition that you can put your connected load to 80% of your connected load. Because, whatever you generate your power generator, whenever you are not consuming, it will be evacuated from the transformer. So, there is a technical capacity issue because it is restricted at 80%. So, 
And uh, Predaka, in terms of capacity building, already, you know, we have brought in more people, considering the, you know, policy and the task which we are taking up, will be the, some of the panelists that raised in terms of capacity to handle. That is a valid, uh, you know, issue, which we are addressing in terms of capacity building, manpower, or the training. And uh, megawatt scale plant may actually, Breda works with uh, Bihar Power Generation Company and Bihar Power Holding Company, which are much more, you know, uh, Equipped in terms of infrastructure and manpower. So that has interlinkages, so we have to jointly come to them. And uh, the intent is there, we have started positively, and uh, you know, uh, we are quite hopeful that with uh, all the stakeholders participating, uh, we would definitely you know, uh, make a uh, good start and we would be you know, hopefully like achieving this target by the uh, end of this policy period. Well, thank you. Those are always very reassuring remarks. Uh, a couple of things came out through this conversation. I mean, and, and, uh, a review of the policy. You obviously also have a expectation around uh, livelihood creation as a result of this, not just investments coming in assets. And there, I think, as Vashtendra uh, was mentioning, the expectation is, is there are X amount of megawatts that you get sourced locally to the industry based here. I'm not sure that the PV module is a good example, I think the ecosystem is a we have high understand. But what about balance of systems and some of those things? Is there a concrete reflection of hot plan of putting up some hubs or planning it out? And those are yes, more bit too long term investment, but is there a pathway that then the industry can do something in there? Or how how does that happen? Uh before I you know, answer that, there was another issue which uh, in terms of uh, putting up solar uh, plants on water bodies. That definitely, yes, uh, it is quite uh, possible in Bihar considering the large waterlogged areas which are available. Uh, but the costing of that is you know, slightly probably because of the uh, floating nature of the structure, probably is slightly on the higher side. But uh, it was tried a couple of times in the last uh, year or so or before that. But somehow like uh, in that, in fact there was a larger government subsidy also. Uh, but still like somehow uh, we had individual interactions with various potential developers. But somehow we couldn't translate on ground. But that is yes a potential area for Beha, which I think uh, if people are interested we can you know have a dialogue and we can take it forward. Uh, that is one area where uh, we would be interested. Second, uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, the local production of uh, equipments or related uh, fabricated items or whatever is possible. Uh, but as far as the uh, solar business is concerned, the you know inputs are very limited. The panels and the battery, or it's a so which is you know in any case like uh, uh, it's a relatively a uh, complicated and a huge project in terms of manufacturing. So even in India, it is uh, concentrated to few locations. But uh, the industry is incentive, uh, interesting, but the policy and the government ke se that industry policy anyway is available to any manufacturing activity. And uh, the renewable energy sector has been classified as a priority sector investment in the industrial incentive policy. So whatever benefits are available to you know uh, priority sector investments that will be available to similar kind of manufacturing units. So we would be really happy if the industry can come forward on that. And uh, second, even in the last 250 megawatt scale plants which have come up, uh, most of the companies have come from outside Bihar and participated. So we would be like, you know, uh, really encouraged if the industry here, you know, come up and you know, they participate and they set up plants. So that will be really good for the state. And we are hopeful like whenever the industry body needs or potential investors within Bihar need, so we would be you know, willing to uh, have an interaction with them separately so that they can understand and if they have any issues they can discuss with us. Uh, we are quite open and we are supportive and uh, we can assure them that we will go the extra mile to you know help the local entrepreneurs to actually set up. Just one small update on the uh, water body uh, projects. Uh, I am uh, I'm sure this uh, last uh, exercise was done a couple of years back in uh, Bihar and that time obviously it was too expensive. In, in general, solar was expensive, 
and on top of that, uh, the structures was making it much more uneconomical. But now, uh, because the solar itself has come down significantly, and there are a lot of improvements in the technology on uh, the floating uh, structures. So all put together, it is becoming economical now, and we are doing a pilot in Indian railways in uh, Andhra Pradesh for half a megawatt. Now. And uh, so it is kind of reasonably priced now, and we can definitely try it. Now. Uh, that is really encouraging. So, you know, uh, we would be really open to that. And uh, whoever is interested, you know, on, especially on the uh, floating thing, we would be open to, you know, further discussion. This is a very short forum. We cannot discuss all the issues. But uh, uh, we are definitely open for uh, further interaction and discussion on this so that we can understand how it will work and what kind of uh, enabling environment is required so we can uh, definitely take that forward. And when the, uh, you know, before I ask the next set of questions, I would like to open for the audience for two, two questions uh, for them to 